Today we're going to be doing is fixing the ride height and the camber on the new coilovers I just put in. I put them in, took it down the street a little bit, and I didn't really like how high it sat. Um, so I think I'm going to lower it just a little bit more, but also the one side was sitting a little bit higher than the other side, even though they were like the same uh, height adjustment on the coilovers, so we're going to try and figure out why that is. We're going to start by adjusting the camber. I'm going for about two degrees, and on my car, and on my coilovers specifically, each of these little lines is a half degree, so the zeroed out one is zero, and then every time you go up, it'll be about a half degree. So I already have this one set for two, but we have to go over there and set that one. So I don't know if all coilovers are the same, but in my case, they're all a half degree. So we're gonna go four ticks out from zeroed out. So this one isn't too far out. It's only about one tick out from two degrees where I want it, um, but you still get the idea of how to move it just by moving it to one degree. You literally just have to loosen the four Allen keys, which seems like the sketchiest thing in the world because you think a lot more than four Allen keys would hold this whole thing together. Ow, oh, damn. But apparently not. So just loosen them and then I just grab the coil from underneath and just push it where you want it to be. Make sure it's right on the line because my other side is better than this. Uh -oh. So grab it, push it back, make sure it's right on your line and then just snug them back up. Did you hear the sand crunch? Yuck. So the camber is the easy part if you have camera plates. If you don't, I really don't know what you would do. Um, but that's like the easiest thing that you can do yourself. But now when it comes to setting your ride heights, what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is coming in here and using this little screwdriver and just counting the threads all the way down and then measuring the distance from the top of my fender to the top of this brake right here. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and make sure that they both match up. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, count the bottom one. So, and then this distance right here is about 10 and a quarter. So this side has 15 threads showing, and it's like just over 10 and a quarter gap here, so we're gonna try and match it to the 13 threads and the exactly 10 and a quarter that the other side has. You get wobbly when I do this. Maybe it's the other way to loosen it. Ow! At least it's loose. Spin that up a little bit. That is pretty damn close to 10 and a quarter. So if we put this back down. So now these guys are exactly the same. Just tighten this back up. So I measured the other side and there was six threads showing. And then when I measured this side, there was actually eight threads showing, which was weird because the other side was the side that was sitting higher. Um, and when I measured the distance here and the distance there, that one was bigger. And what I came to realize is that the, I guess it's like the pre-coil, whatever you want to call this adjustment. If you look here, the length of the coil is four and a quarter. And on this side, the coil's like almost four and a half, which basically means that this side is gonna be a little bit softer than the other side. So I'm gonna adjust the other side to be four and a half like this one, so that they're both the same softness, and then we'll adjust it from there. Um, so pretty much all that happened was whoever was running these before had one side a little bit stiffer than the other side, so his thread count and adjustments, I guess he must have measured it a different way. Um, but what I came to find is I know some cars sit a little bit heavier on one side than another, like older Civics and stuff. Some coils have to be bigger on one side because the car's heavier on that side. Um, but my car I thought was pretty even, which it is. So it just comes that we're gonna have to just adjust this little pre-coil, or pre, I can't remember the name of it, pre-dampening or whatever it's called. So if you get cheaper coilovers, this, you'll see that there's two little rings right here, and they'll actually just be one piece on the cheaper set. Um, but when you get into the better coilovers, you can actually pull this bottom ring off the top one and adjust the length of the coil itself separately. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then you can just get comfy with it in there. And so. I think I got it. Do that to split them. We're gonna move this one down. And then we're just gonna pull this guy 
down until it's the same length as the one on the other side. And then we're just gonna wind this back up and snug these two back together. Now, this one only has one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four threads showing. I think this is tight. Whereas the other side had eight, so now you can see why they were sitting differently. So I'm gonna leave this one, because this is actually at a good height. I like it sitting here. So I'm gonna make sure this is all tight. I'm gonna take my measurements. Four, and like, nine. Four, nine. So now this one needs a hell of a lot of adjustment. And I just finally figured out now, when I'm almost done, probably the best way to do this is go one, two, three, four, like the other one. One, two, three, four. And then just twist it till it's there. I can't believe I haven't been doing that the whole time. I just had like an epiphany and it's the last damn time I'm ever gonna adjust these things, I hope. Oh yeah, right there. What do you know about perfection? Nothing. And the whole thing's literally that easy. So if you guys didn't catch the video of me installing them, be sure to check that out right here. I'm gonna put the car on the ground now, take it for a quick drive, let everything settle, make sure it's the way I like it. If not, I'm gonna take it out and just kind of redo what I did and make sure that they're all exactly the way I want. But that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.